Thank you very much for joining us on uh, this edition of Pulse Sport here on the Joy News Channel on Multi TV. And uh, here with me in the studio to do a little bit of a discussion on boxing is Dr. Donald Agumenu, who is a member of uh, Team Dogbe as part of uh, Rising Star Africa Promotions, who collaborate regularly with uh, Bob Arum's top rank promotions to put up uh, such big fights as what we saw when Isaac Dobe defended successfully his WBO Super Bantamweight title in the United States of America. And of course, uh, he was there in the thick of the action in Arizona, and uh, he's here uh, to give us a little bit more about what happened and the way forward for Isaac the Royal Storm Dobe as we look ahead. Uh, Doc, thank you very much, and welcome thank back you. home. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank <laughs> I've been a while. Yes, yeah, so actually, I thought you, you, you were going to come. Uh, we'll yeah, we'll come for the next one. <laughs> the unification, eh? Definitely. That'll be in December. Definitely. So you have to put Definitely. everything aside and be there. Sure, 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 I will. Yes, I will. Yeah, great to see you again. Yes. Great to see you. Tell me about this uh, new, uh, you know, chant that, you know, was employed during the, the build-up to the fight. Now, uh, they say, Neho, I hear, I hear, as they do me say, Neho, Neho, uh, you know, when, when they are singing the songs and dancing and all that. What's the meaning of that and why that? Yes, thank you. Before we move, we move forward, I just want to say that we thank Almighty God for bringing us to this level. We thank the nation, we thank the support of the, the Christian community, the Muslim community, the traditional community, and more importantly, the media, because you've played a very integral role in taking the fight to this stage and also communicating to the nation at large that something is happening. And Neho, basically, um, it's, it's a nowhere phrase or, or sentence, or to say a mantra. You, you know, before we talk about Neho, and for you to appreciate it and understand, we, we, we say Neho and Nemu. Okay. You know, when you say Neho, Neho means let it be uprooted. Okay. When you say Nemu, let it fall. Okay. <laughs> so, so the mantra Neho basically is to tell Otaki that Otaki, you are going to be uprooted. You know, meeting a champion with uh, quite a technical experience and somebody who for the past nine years wasn't beaten, meeting such a person, you need to know that this is going to be a warfare. And you need to chat psychologically because, you know, uh, wars are won first in the mind before it materializes to the field. Mm. So now who that Isaac Dobe was saying is to tell in Otaki that Otaki, though you are a champion, but I'm going to uproot you. So you, you saw the kind of uh, master display of skills, agility, and strength, and the power punches. So that was not to make him fall. That was to uproot him. That was why maybe you were going to come to that. That was why within two, two minutes, when you are uprooting something, the chemistry, the move, and the force to it is completely different from, from falling. So, so it was a spiritual moment. It is something divine to charge and to, to paralyze the competitor that we are going to uproot you today. And that alone would electrify the boxing fraternity, the boxing lovers, and the players in the field that Isidobe has what it takes, not only uh, competitively or in terms of strength, but spiritually too. He is psychologically prepared, spiritually prepared, and he has what it takes as that general to command that this is what we're going to do. And when that happens, you see it mm. manifesting. Interesting stuff there. Let's talk about the build-up, the preparation there, especially in the U.S., uh, the final build-up to the fight. Um, we realized that he had a lot of common company. I mean, his father is a strainer. He had his cousins. He had yourself and a few other people. What did that do for him um, you know, in the build-up to this fight? Yes, you know, as I was telling you, we, we, we call something acquisition and retention. As Idogbe became a world title holder, how to retain it, you need to be able to, to put in a lot. Emotionally, you need people that must be motivating you. And psychologically, too, you must be prepared to be able to, to stage up your game. So our purpose, our role specifically, apart from all the technical trainings, I keep telling people that as Idogbe has a buffer energy like a buffer stock to display and unfold, depending on the situational flow of the game. So when we were there, he wasn't training, in quotes and unquote. It wasn't like he was into a rigorous training or doing something. This is about... He had done all of that in Ghana yeah, and the UK. Exactly. So yeah. adjusting to the moment, uh, psyching himself up, getting well prepared. I should be showing you some of the videos. you see that in the morning, we had 
a very powerful prayer session. And myself, I was a leader of that prayer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so the Neho was 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 top of issues. Yeah. The Neho, and also this song before we left Ghana, uh, I composed a song that go and tell Otaki that uh, Dogbe would go. It's only Dogbe that will go. I don't know whether you've heard that song. So not yet. Me ba gbe na wotaki ba do gbe akwe yi ga me ba. Oh, I wish I saw him you dance know? to it. Yeah, so okay. dancing to it. So so they were all part of that. And you know one of the most important things we need to appreciate. Assuming Isaac knows how to even sing this thing in Chu or any other language would have translated it. What we were only trying to tell the world that we are Africans. We were born out of revolution. We are people that believe in our Pan-African spirit. And uh, at the international front like that, you need to showcase that you're a Ghanaian. You have a culture to protect. You have a culture to promote. And uh, our spirituality uh, must be uh, manifested. And when that happens, uh, come on, the whole world will know that you are not only in the arena to throw punches, but there's something backing you. And uh, when, when you don't have spirituality, you, you can't function because the, the basis of it is your spiritual connection. Then you come to display that uh, in the flow of Tatis, agility, and the skills that you, you, you bring on board. Wow, interesting stuff there. Um, the fight is done now. Um, Ghana is awaiting uh, Dubai's arrival in, uh, you know, for, for everybody to have a feel of him, his uh, title again. Uh, what's the plan? When is he arriving in town? Yes, actually, uh, we should have come together but there are some developments, very positive developments. You know, as we keep saying, as Idogwe believes in education, and we as a team, most of us, you know, there's one interesting thing when we got to in New York, the immigration officers were saying that what is all about as Idogwe, they can see doctors, they can see lawyers, they can see medical practitioners, they can see all manner of professionals. What we're going to, what we're trying to tell people that beyond bossing, you can, you can still go to educate yourself. As Idogbe uh, got admission to reach uh, international relations or international politics, uh, so he has an exam to do, and uh, the time is near. So we've advised him to go in for the exams. We prepare for the Ghana uh, overwhelming welcome. Mm. Uh, so that we do it in a grand And uh, which, which of the high, uh, you know, the high learning institutions is this? Which of them? Uh, I, I will pro he's going to a university anyway, okay, but yeah, I, sure. I will tell you the specific unit okay, okay. Um, in due course. Mm. So he'll be coming next month, uh, around 5th uh, of October, mm. and uh, he will stay for some few days. And you know, we have about in December, the unification. So uh, the time is quite short. He needs to come in for all the ceremonies for us to uh, properly thank Ghanaians, uh, the leadership of the country, uh, thank all the religious institutions, go back home to thank uh, the traditional leaders and the families, you know, and let people have a better feel of him, then he would uh, begin training again and further move to, uh, to US or probably UK mm -hmm. to, to do other bits of it towards the, the, the champion of champions uh, event that is coming on in December. As we head towards wrapping up this conversation, there's been a lot of talk, uh, you know, in the system about, you know, his affiliation to the United Kingdom and how uh, the uh, British media is trying to claim him now that he's become a champion. Has the camp heard about this and what are the thoughts? Oh, yes, you know, uh, media, let me put it this way. Uh, media, it's a very powerful tool, as you know. Media can canonize you or demonize you, depending on how um, they situate the issue and how they appreciate it. There are some personalities too, not the institutions, uh, based on their own parochial interests, could decide to use media as a two-edged sword to, to do whatever pleases them. That's notwithstanding, uh, the issue of Isaac Dobe um, having a link to the British or Britain um, cannot be overemphasized because uh, he spent some few years there, you know, growing up. But one thing which is so unique, which is undebatable, is even whilst in UK, Isaac Dobe fought for Ghana in the Olympics, not for UK. So that alone is so significant. So his, his identity cannot be questioned. Number two, as Idogwe came back to Ghana, 
and lifted the image of Ghana, the flag of Ghana, all over the world as a Ghanaian fighter. All the fights that we had, nobody had ever announced Isaac Dogbe as a British fighter. He's been announced as a Ghanaian fighter. Our leaders, both current and past presidents, I mean, acknowledge that. Uh, on top of that, Isaac Dogbe's identity, nationality, in terms of documents and other things, as a Ghanaian too, is not in contest. Now, but to, to finalize that, does he have both passports? To be very sincere with you, I cannot uh, say. Initially, he had documents as a citizen, sorry, as a citizen of Ghana, yes. He has documents since he's living in the UK, because you know you cannot live in the UK without your papers. As to the degree of the papers for, for the British to claim ownership of Isaac Dobe, that is what uh, is in doubt, because uh, no matter how they claim it, I know there's going to be a barrier. And Isaac Dogbe, as a typical Ghanaian African, cannot change his identity. If, if that is the case, why are we even there uh, as Ghanaians? Why are we even there? Even the last fight, nobody reported British. Uh, nobody was even talking about British culture. We were talking as Ghanaians. So to me, uh, it's an interesting argument. It's a new trend, and we've read all the issues coming up. We've listened to them. I spoke to some of the people uh, from, from the UK media. And come on, it's, it's a very simple thing. I know when, when, when people are growing up in, in every endeavor, nobody wants to celebrate you. But when you become a champion, you will see people even claiming your identity. It's, it's, it's an interesting phenomenon. So mm. what we just have to appreciate and uh, close our minds on is Isaac Dobe is a Ghanaian. Isaac Dobe's identity is not debatable. Uh, the legalities to which we cannot use this time to, to elaborate on that too much, mm. but I can assure you uh, there's no doubt about uh, his belief for Ghana, his, his, his love for his nation, for his people, uh, for people like you, the media. And come on, there's no place like home. Mm. Isaac Dobe will come back home victoriously <laughs> and uh, give you a powerful shake. Sure, sure. Thank you very much, Thank uh, you. Doc. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's always a pleasure Thank to have you. you. Uh, so that was uh, Dr. Donald Agumenu. Uh, he is a member of uh, Team Dobe at Rising Star Africa Promotions, um, and um, he is in charge of the marketing operation. And uh, he was there in, uh, the, in Arizona, USA for Isaac Dobe's very first uh, title defense. He's announced that Isaac Dobe will be in Ghana uh, for the first week of next month to, uh, you know, 